So the second point that we will see today is the location of ropes. Ropes also are often used in uh, logistics. For example, robots or uh, conveying systems or uh, different elevators and 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 then. Uh, we have also some education for by for ropes. Uh, you can see here that we what we have on the table. Okay. And now I would like to show this one. And this was the question before uh, on the for the lubrication of the ropes, we use the high temperature brush. Okay. Here also we have an application with three ropes, a, a white brush uh, is going 90 degrees to the to the ropes. Okay. Uh, this is, would be the, the most effective lubrication for them. And we have here the steamer loop and uh, these little accessories that you can find in our demo case or on our accessories list uh, in order to <coughs> lubricate these three ropes. If it's not possible to go directly, we have here on the top uh, another one, another example to show you. It's that we have here a little hose and this will make the thing maybe sometimes easier when we have no place, when we have to, to, <coughs> to remote it. Uh, in any case, uh, we have to see it on spot. It's, it's very difficult. That's just examples uh, for you, but sure, maybe you cannot do it on, on your application, but just to have to show you that with our uh, accessories, you have many possibilities for installing the brush or the, uh, and the Sima loop. Uh, another possibility, I will just turn this one. Another possibility, is to use one of our guide brush, guide lubrication brush. Uh, and we have a single rope here, okay? And it's going through him, okay, in the middle. And we have these three brushes that you know about the, the brush for the guides. Here, we do not have high temperature brushes on. Uh, so uh, these would be for uh, a low speed, application, right? The other one that we can show you is if you have more brushes, okay? Uh, for example, here could be six um, uh, more ropes, pardon me. There may be six ropes here. So you have two brushes uh, beneath with two steamer loops and these brackets. And so you can, fix this mount this bracket and by these long holes you can move it or go a little bit more far away for the to the ropes okay this is what we would like to show you about ropes uh, sometimes uh, we have also the question but what grease or what oil pardon me what oil do you use uh, the the lubricant is mostly recommended by the manufacturer of the rope. Uh, if this is not the case, we have our SL40. That uh, is not so common, but it's it's one of our standard lubrication, uh, lubricant, pardon me. And uh, if you need the technical data, please contact Tom or myself. Uh, it's Pfeiffer Draco Fluid SF. It's specially made for ropes, and uh, you will see in the next slide why we do lubricate that ropes and what happened if we do not lubricate them. Same as before, um, we recommend to to place the sima loops and the brushes in an almost close ninety degrees angle. So therefore, we have the the right tension uh, on the brushes to the cables. Here we have used two times SL40, 250 milliliter Sima loop dispensers and two brushes of the 100 millimeter. Here the bracket adds a, a customized 
uh, bracket. So whenever um, you you need something, you can always ask us, uh, have you ever done it? Uh, what ideas do you have? Uh, can you assist us? And then uh, we give you some creative ideas. Um, same here again. Um, this is also not really in a 90 degrees angle, but it wasn't possible to do it. So as I mentioned before, get always as close as possible. On, on the picture on the right side, it is very impressive to see, or, or we can see very good, um, that we have different um, strands in on, on a rope, and each strand has smaller strands as well. So why do we use or that why do we say we shall use um, any lubrication for the ropes? Um, insufficient lubrication causes corrosion, especially when when it's it's outside or close to the ocean. Um, it is get wear and tear at the breakage of the individual strands, and that's what I just have mentioned. If the, the oil that we are um, suggesting, SL40, goes really deep into the cable. So it means that each strand here gets uh, lubricated as well, the, ho the whole cable. And of course, if we are facing a cable like that, we have a higher risk of uh, injuries, and therefore um, it, it is definitely recommended to, to use something. Um, you can always ask your manufacturer of the rope. Sometimes they suggest to use uh, oil uh, or grease, or in, instead of um, oil, what we suggest, they say, ah, use a very liquid grease. That might be possible as well. But please um, keep in mind, with our brushes, um, we, it has to go through from the dispenser through the whole brush onto the cable, and it has to be a very uh, liquid oil. Uh, uh, pardon, grease to, to use uh, with that. On the bottom side, uh, there is a well lubricated wire, so it, it we can expand the life the lifetime of it. We can definitely reduce the costs and downtime, and we can save manpower as uh, our staff does not need to go uh, to lubricate by hand um, with with a brush or with a spray on the cable, and it makes definitely your operation more safe. 